Hey everyone, welcome to the test drive of the second generation Audi Q5. In this video I will show all the details and we will do a test drive, so keep watching. This one is the 2 liter TFSI with 252 horsepower and the quattro all-wheel drive system. It has the beautiful S-Line interior with the Quattro badge in the dash and the S-Line logos in the seats. These extras are uh, make, makes the car very special in my opinion. You can also buy it with the privacy shades in the back. The Q5 is now 90 kilograms lighter than the previous model with the same engine. It produces 252 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. It has a quattro all-wheel drive system as I said earlier, 0 to 62 in 6.3 seconds and the top speed is 237 km per hour, that's about 150 miles per hour, that's really good. The engine is a 2 liter 4 cylinder inline, petrol engine TFSI. It has a 7 speed automatic transmission dual clutch with the shift pedals behind the steering wheel. At the front you can see the angular daytime running lights with the LED matrix headlights with automatic high beam and corner lights. Integrate fog lights in the lights. Very good looking S-line front bumper with extra chrome in the grille and in the fog light area I love the chrome bits in the lower bumper it has the optional 20 inch rims 19 on or 20 inch wheels available for this one the chrome part continues at the sides which is very cool it has the S-line badge on the sides blind spot assist it has the reshaped LED tail lights which look far better in my opinion now the Audi Q5 has been one of the German brands best selling models since it launched back in 2008 this one has the deluxe 3 zone electronical climate control 3 zone adjustable you can also buy it with the panoramic sunroof. The tailgate is automatic. You can also open it with your uh, foot. The trunk space is 550 liters. When you fold the rear seats down it's 1550 liters. That's really good. The fuel capacity is 70 liters. Fuel consumption is 6.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined. On the highway 6.1, in the city 8.4 liters. Let's take a look at the interior of the second generation Q5. It has the sun shades of course. It has the half Alcantara door panels and leather storage compartment is really really big biggest in its class adjustable rear seats s-line seats the shape is special to the s-line the leather that is used is high quality it has the dark headliner the panoramic sunroof you can tilt it or slide it backwards three zone climate control this is the dash of the brand new q5 just like the Audi Q7, I also did a test drive with that, check Alatin 61. It has the brand new Audi virtual cockpit, you can buy it with the blind spot assist, this car has got it. Virtual cockpit, S-line steering wheel with the S logo, biggest navigation screen, dual zone climate control. Drive select is also new, push button ignition. This is the space left, this is the space left, I'm 1 meter and 83 climate control at the back the luxe climate control it has the armrest here two cup holders it's also leather you can fold these uh, rear seats down for even more 
cargo space. Let's look at the driver's seat of this beauty. S-Line logo, LED lights integrated. I love the sport pedals. Before we sit in the driver's seat, let's go over these buttons, lock, unlock, heated mirrors. You can also buy it with the folding mirrors, rear uh, windows, trunk, storage area again, leg extensions. You can buy it with electronic uh, seats. Beautiful S-Line steering wheel, this is how the key looks like, brand new key, brand new key, lock, unlock, trunk release. Now let's go over the details of the interior, perforation at the sides, S-Line steering wheel, the stitching is fabulous, amazing Audi virtual cockpit, two types of, uh, of view available. At the upper part you have four pages, safety systems, media, phone and uh, the navigation. And you have sub menus, I call them. I love this system. You can buy it with the head up display, MMI plus navigation system. Adjustable armrest in length and height, three settings for the height, USB AUX, you can also buy it with the wireless charging, cup holders, two cup holders here, you have the electronic handbrake, auto hold, this is also a resting point so you can use these uh, buttons for the MMI Plus, it has uh, the rear view camera, is extra neutral sport you can also shift for yourself with the shift pedals or with the gear lever this is for uh, P4 park you can put your key here music adjustments volume and this is the extra these are the extra buttons touchpad you can also write the address down uh, Side menus are extra on this on these new models. Push button ignition of course. Drive select with different modes. Q5 has also the off-road lift and the R-road mode. Then the car raises. The automatic mode the car senses uh, which terrain it is and adjusts itself. You can turn off the start stop, ESP, hill descent. I love these climate control sensitive uh, buttons, tree zone, rear, eco mode, heated seats. I mean the quality is uh, really good on these uh, Audi cars, especially in the interior. Now let's go over the settings, this is the main menu. Let's go directly to the language settings. These are the settings, uh, the language uh, choices. Now, let's start with the top. Car settings, drive select, sound settings. You can adjust the sound focus. Radio, of course. And you have the media settings. It is uh, really, uh, really good. Phone settings, it supports CarPlay and Android. So you can buy it with that. Map. Side menus. Traffic messages. Audi Connect, smartphone interface and these are the settings and these are the driver assistance systems 
parking aid speed warning efficient efficiency assist audi presense the car can break for you in the city vehicle settings daytime time exterior lighting background lighting ambient lighting push button ignition as I said this is the Audi virtual cockpit as I sh showed earlier driver assists eco modes different views lovely interior automatic lights fog lights of course adaptive cruise control setting is available it has LED lights, touch sensitive uh, lights up here. Panoramic sunroof of course. I love this uh, system. I love uh, sunroofs. It has also the SOS button. This is for the curtain. suspension is really really good that said the gear changes are really smooth uh, better than the previous model for sure the sound isolation we're now driving uh, in fifth gear 60 km per hour it's really good what I also like about Audi models they are very innovative uh, the Audi turn signals the dynamic turn signals is great is a great feature Audi started it and with the headlights I like the LED headlight system of this car and the daytime running lights are now more aggressive in my opinion than the previous model this is uh, more my kind of a car uh, it is more angular and in the front just like the Audi Q7 The previous model was bold, I like this more. Now in this uh, video, in this test drive, I will do a uh, drive in the city just like this. And we will turn on the highway of course. The Q5 is the middle SUV as I call it. We have the Q2, the test drive is online on uh, of that car on Alatin 61. You have the Q3, Q5 is this one and the Q7 the bigger brother for now I can say the driving experience with this compared to the Q7 is almost the same you can shift for yourself now I'm in third gear M3 M2 when you put it at the sides full throttle it it launches it's awesome and I like the sound it's really good what I don't like is that the seats are manually operated I think uh, it it must be electronically operated standard not the extra uh, you have here the different views bigger gauges but I like it to drive uh, like this with this star you can adjust the screen day and night or it does it automatically two hundred and fifty two horsepower it pulls really good full throttle and we're driving 115 km per hour so easy 
and I don't know if you noticed it but you can whisper it's so quiet inside I like that a lot I mean I like sports cars but uh, some days you you want to drive uh, uh, just smooth and comfortable and this car does it in my eyes this is one of the best uh, family cars around when you look at the technology the safety systems uh, it can also automatically park when you choose that uh, feature we will now enter a tunnel so you can see the brilliant ambient lighting in this car five colors it has also the ambient lighting on the doors looks really really gorgeous also in the back gorgeous interior different views I love the S-Line steering wheel I said it 100 times but it is gorgeous and you can buy it also with the head-up display as we know of Audi then it becomes a very very good family car in my opinion the brightness looks very cool it's it's uh, adjustable the LED lights are perfect even at daylight uh, they lit up the road perfect this virtual cockpit different views as I said 